Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a makeup haul for you guys. I feel like I haven't done a makeup haul in so freaking long. I love doing hauls. I haven't done a haul in general in a long time actually. I really love doing hauls. They're like my favorite videos to film. I just love like seeing things <laughs> like it sounds so stupid. Today we have a makeup haul from a brand called Mina. This is how it is pronounced. Wait, no. Mina is how it's pronounced and then on the website it's like a 3 and then an I and A. Um, they very kindly gifted me some products to try out. So I have two wee boxes to share with you guys. I haven't tried any of this yet but I'm so excited to get into it. So they are a cruelty free and paraben free company. They also are very affordable which is what I like. I really love companies that are affordable because I don't want to be if I can not spend too much on makeup that is always a good and if it's good quality as well that's always a bonus too so but yeah they sent me two little boxes here so I'm gonna open these for you guys so let's get straight into it you will see a few Instagram posts and also um a couple of videos as well um with these products throughout the next few months so keep an eye out for them because I am going to be trying some of these products out as well for you guys on camera and also over on my instagram so if you're not following my instagram channel go follow that down below um but yeah so in the first box this is how they come um i've got a couple of masks in here they do skincare and they do makeup um so yeah i'm super excited to try the skincare as you guys know i am a huge fan of skincare um it is very very important to me so i love trying out new skincare so i've got a few masks here to try out so we've got the moisturizing mask and then we've also got the restorative masks these are like um what are these these are like little sheet masks i think yeah are they actually yeah i'm pretty sure these are a sheet mask so i'll probably try these out on my vlog as well so again if you're not following my vlog channel go follow that down below because i do a lot of masks sort of stuff on there um so i might try these out on my vlog channel all right so we have some eyeshadows in here i've got a few different ones i've got these pencil eyeshadows which are like eyeshadow pens let's have a look so i've got two colors yeah two colors here we've got um this is what the packaging looks like how cute is the freaking like packaging i love that i really like simple packaging um i think it's just a nice aesthetic um and then this is what the product looks like in here um and it's got the logo on the front there but we've got a pencil let's give it a little bit of a swatch oh wow so that's like a dark sort of chocolate brown that's super creamy and really pigmented as well um so i'm guessing you can apply that to the eye and then use a brush to blend it out you can really do anything with makeup there's no roses there um, and then we've also got a green one as well, like a silvery green colour. And this one is, what is this in colour? I don't know what the colour names are. Hmm. Oh, they have numbers on the top. So the brown one was 100. And then this one here was 102. Swatch this one as well. Oh, that's a super pretty colour. It's a very sort of pale minty green with like a silver frost to it that's going to be really nice on the eye then i've also got some other little eyeshadows and i'm so excited about these um and these are little cream pots i have actually swatched these ones i haven't swatched much of these products i think i've only swatched like this because i was super excited but these are the cream eyeshadows and they come in a little pot like that again love the packaging um and yeah that's what it looks like there they are a super creamy formula these are really nice for like a really foiled look all over the eye. Um, let's have a little play and swatch with these. Oh, so pretty. They are very, very foiled. These would be really nice for like a cut crease. I definitely want to do a look soon using this and then one of the other products that are in here as well. Um, but yeah, I think that would be such a nice colour on the eyes. So pretty. They're very, they kind of remind me of the... Um, Stila, sorry, loud cars going by. They kind of remind me of the Stila pots, but a lot more creamier. I kind of prefer that creamier look, though. These dry down really fast as well, which is good. Um, so they will really stay on the eye. So there's that one there, which is in the color 312. It's like a rosy pink kind of color. And then I've got two other ones. I've got this one here, which is like a 
silver. Yeah, like a silvery shade. Just that one there. They must have moved around a little bit in pick um, in postage. That's what it looks like. It looks up there. That is so pretty. Oh my god. So that one. And then we also have another one here, and this one is a oh. Gray. And then there's this one here as well, and this one is in the color 311. Um, but this has got more of like a mauvey tint to it. It's like a charcoal sort of shade with a purple tone to it. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah, that one looks a little bit drier than the other ones. Let's have a quick feel of it. It still is creamy though, it's just not as creamy as the other ones. That's what it looks like there. Oh. Those are so pretty, I can't wait to try those out on my eyes. All right, and next we have a few eyeliners. So this one here is the two-in-one pen eyeliner, and this is in a black. This is really cool. I saw this the other day when I got the package. It's kind of like, I don't know if you can really tell. Um, it's got a thin side that you can use, and then also a thicker side. So let's try them out both ways. Oh, that's cool. So that side there could make a really thick line and then use it the other way to get a thinner line as well. That is really, really cool. I'm excited to try this out and see like how it works and what it looks like when it goes onto the eye. It also feels like a really good tip as well. Some of them can be too hard and they're really hard to get that nice winged eyeliner. This one here is a little bit more flexible, which is nice. So I'm excited to try that out too. All right, and then we've got another one and this is just the pen eyeliner. So this is, again, a little bit thinner. So, weird swatch, sorry. So this one here is just like your typical felt eyeliner. Um, so yeah, super black though, which is nice. So I'm trying that out too. All right, and then I have some mascaras and I'm so excited for these. So I'll show you the black one first. So this is just the definition mascara. I'm not gonna open it actually. Yeah, we will open it because I'm gonna use it anyway. Oh, that's cool. It's kind of like got a like this side here it's almost like a, a hairbrush so it's got really long bristles on one side and then on the other side it's got really short ones that would be good for bottom lashes um but yeah that's a very interesting brush and then the next ones i have are two colored mascaras and i'm excited about these i love colored mascara um this one here is a bright blue like that like a cobalt blue that is stunning and it'd look nice with like a nude eye um and the lashes is a proper color and then i've got this one here which is pink how pretty is this i've actually seen this on the instagram somebody used it um so yeah that's what i thought would be nice to go with that first cream eyeshadow that i showed you guys the pinky one i thought those two would make a really nice makeup look so i think i want to use those two in a look very shortly don't mind my hair today it's honestly just all over the place all right, so that was all that was in the first box. So now we'll get on to the second box. So in this box, we've got some blushes, lip products, and some highlighters. So we'll do the blushes first. And this is what the actual packaging looks like. I love it. Super sleek, super simple. Um, but yeah, there's this color here. So this is the number 106. It's a nice sort of nudey, peachy blush with a... Looks like it's got a gold fleck to it, but that is super pretty. Oh, that is pigmented as well. Look at that. That's a really nice color. I'll get a lot of use out of this sort of color. And then next we've got another blush, and this one is in the color 107, and this one here is a bit more pinky. It's definitely more on the pink side as opposed to the peachy nude side, um, but this will be nice if I just want like a soft hint of color on the cheeks because it's not overly pink. That's that one there. Can you see that? really pretty and soft i don't know what it is about blushes but blushes are probably like one of my favorite makeup products to like collect and have in my collection i just think they're so pretty all right and then we've got a palette and this one here is a called the glowing face palette and this is in the number 601 um again very nice sleek packaging one thing i will say about the packaging though it feels really good quality like it's super like it's weighted it's not heavy but it is a little bit more weighted which is quite nice um and yeah it doesn't feel like it's going to break or anything so that's really nice because sometimes with affordable makeup they have to make the packaging not as great but this one here is really nice and this is the highlighter palette here there's four different colors let's swatch them all it's 
So this one here is the goldy one. Oh, that's nice. That'd make a nice eyeshadow too, actually. Look at that. So pretty. All right, and then we've got this one. Just a little bit more bronzy. Oh, that I'd probably have to use as a blush or, and again, another eyeshadow. That would be really nice as a bronzy eyeshadow. And then the lighter color. Oh, that is so pretty. Love that. And the last one is more of a pinky color. Oh, and that one, you, I think you definitely could use that as a blush too. It's like a really pretty peachy pink color. Very nice. I'm excited to try those. All right, and then we have five lipsticks in here. I've got two of their, um, what are these called? The longwear lipsticks. So I've got like a nudie shade. Oh, it's so hot. So this one here is number 505, and it's more of a nude shade. I like the packaging of these. Oh, wait, no, these aren't a normal lipstick. These are a liquid lipstick. Ooh. Where are we going to swatch these? They've all swatched the lipsticks on my other hand. So that is what that color looks like there. It's at a really nice sort of deeper nude shade. Let's see how these ones um, dry. I don't know whether they're supposed to be glossy or whether they're supposed to be matte, but we'll soon find out. And then I've got this one here, which is the color 508, and it's more of like a orangey, yeah, like an orangey pinky color. A yeah, pinky red, I guess. Oh, definitely more of a red. These ones here go on kind of almost like a stain to me. Like you can, they're not too opaque. You could pro, you could definitely build them up to be opaque, but that's what they look like there. That red color is super pretty. All right, and while we're waiting for those to set down, we will try out these ones here. So these ones are called the Chubby Sticks. Oh, I love like Chubby Stick lipsticks. I'm excited for these. All right, the first one we have is number 111. And again, like a nude shade, like a pinky mauve nude shade. What the packaging looks like. They're like a pencil form. I love these just for like keeping in your handbag. Um just to touch up your lipstick, just so easy. That is the first color there. That's a really nice like everyday sort of color. Super pretty. These are like a satin finish I would say. Um, and they're fairly pigmented. They're not like as pigmented as a regular lipstick but you can definitely build these up. And then I've got one in a deeper nude color, like a, oh, just see what that looks like. But yeah, like a darker peachier nude. Um, swatch that. I'm using my, oh, that's actually lighter than the other one. So excuse my terrible swatches. I'm using my other hand. Oh, I really like that. That's pretty. So again, another nude shade, but more of a peach cut color. And then the last one I have is in the color 100. And this is like a, like a red sort of shade. Oh, no, it's not like a coral, bright coral. Oh, that's going to be nice. That'll be nice with like a bronzy makeup look. Kind of similar to what I have on now. I reckon that'd be really pretty. All right, so now we'll jump back to these more liquidy lipsticks. They do dry down to a matte, so they are like a liquid lipstick. Um, again, they are a little bit sheerer, but you can definitely build them up to make them a little bit more even. So, yeah, I'm excited to try that. I actually think I want to try this one on the red one on like now after i film this video all right guys so that brings us to the end of this video i just want to say a big thank you to mina for gifting me these products i'm so excited to have a wee play with them and create some fun content um with these products so keep an eye out on my instagram and also on this youtube channel here um i will be creating some content using these products and trying them all out i'm very very excited these colored mascaras are like the bomb duty they are so good. Anyway, I will leave all of the links down below to the website um, and you guys can go check out their range of products. They have so many products and so many different color ranges as well. I really like that when brands have a huge color range because 
everybody wants something different so yeah definitely go check them out um i'll leave their links down below also they're super super affordable as well again another thing that i like i love affordable things so yeah go check them out all the links will be in the down bar but that brings us to the end of this video thank you guys so much for watching comment request subscribe and like and i'll see you all in my next video bye